so good to see you. I heard you have a really, really big interview coming up. Mm hmm Yeah. Well, I'm so, so glad that you've come to me. Yeah, so I'm gonna help you through. Um, I'll give you my tips. We can do some practice questions as well. I just generally make you feel less stressed about it. Yeah, because I know how stressful interviews can be and I know what you're like. So I just want to make sure you feel really calm about it and that you do not feel too anxious or anything. Yeah, okay, perfect. So have you done any research on the company yet? Oh, amazing. Sounds like you're really, really ahead of the game. Mm -hmm. And how are you feeling about the interview in general? Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, it sounds like you've got quite a positive attitude towards it. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's a really good way to think. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> And I just thought I'd ask you why you specifically want to do this interview, like what um, attracted you to the job and stuff. Yeah, that is so true. <laughs> yeah, well, for me, knowing you, I feel like you would really suit this job. Yeah, definitely. And I feel like you can You don't have to feel nervous around me anyway. Yeah. So I feel like you gave quite a lot of answers to that question. Mm. Yeah. So I feel like we just need to refine that and figure out which bits about yourself are like relevant to this interview. Because I mean I really loved everything you said, but um, there's some parts and we don't want them to think that you're talking loads or like rambling loads um, you know because you're nervous or something um, we want them to see that you're very confident and your answers are refined yeah exactly okay so the first point you said was really good mm, I would definitely keep that yeah and then bit about your dogs. I don't know. Oh, it's difficult. I just don't know that it's completely relevant. Um, maybe you can mention it, but don't go into so, so, so much detail about them. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. You know, I think maybe you are just saying a lot because you're nervous. But that is perfectly normal, and to be fair, they will definitely understand that 
people can be anxious in interview situations and that they are very like high stakes situations yeah okay do you want to move on to the next one mm-hmm okay yeah okay so the next question is what are your strengths So they were some great answers from you there. I really like the part you said about your ability to step back um, and evaluate a situation um, in the bigger picture. Yeah, and I think that's really um, accurate about you. Yeah, definitely. And then you mentioned leadership skills, um, and that's a really good point to make. I'll just maybe expand on that a little more. Mm -hmm. because they will love that, they'll leave that up like, I think that's what they want people to say they really want um, people that are going to be confident in leading and they're not just going to be passengers mm -hmm. yeah okay, so next question what is your biggest week? reveal uh, something that you think is going to disadvantage you um, when they're thinking about possibly hiring you but then also you need to answer the question and they'll probably be able to tell if you're completely lying you know you need to be somewhat honest for this question I always say that I'm too much of a perfectionist and I don't even know if that is necessarily completely true, it is, a, it is true a bit, but that is a really good answer to that question because it isn't actually necessarily a bad thing, but it can be viewed as um, a negative, so it's quite a good one to say. Um, but obviously what you said about like struggling with timekeeping and stuff, maybe if you do mention that, also then mention what you've done to overcome that. Um, or how you sort of challenge that, how you um, make sure that it doesn't affect your work, the quality of your work. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Definitely. Okay. Next question. Can you tell me about a time where you've overcome a large challenge? afford to sell yourself a little more I think you're underplaying yourself and I think that's a confidence thing um, but you definitely definitely have the skills for this and um, that short, that um, that story really um, does display your skills of like overcoming and like that was a pretty big challenge right? <laughs> it sounds like a big one and the fact that you were able to handle that situation so calmly is so commendable so you can definitely definitely like upsell yourself a bit more there yeah 
yeah and like it won't come across as arrogant I promise you because you're not like that and I know that they'll be able to see that if you just say confidently then that's how it will come across yeah yeah definitely oh you're doing so well you know really you really are What interests you about our company? really clear from that how much like research you have done about them yeah and I think that's really really great and I think the fact that you've like been to one of their events is really good and it'll make you stand out because you've had a first hand experience of their company and what they do um yeah yeah exactly um and like you've clearly done a lot of research of their website and their history and their history of the company everything yeah you're really clued up. I mean, this could all be wrong. I don't actually know, but I'm presuming that's correct, right? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Perfect. You're doing so well. Okay. Next question. How would previous or current colleagues of yours describe you? Mm. Come on. To say on that, I'm sure. Come on, carry on. <laughs> okay, I can help you out a bit on this one. As a very previous colleague, and I know it was a while ago that we worked together, <laughs> but as your friend, I can definitely say that I would describe you as a really happy and positive person. Um, and you're definitely someone that's very approachable and that is really important because that means members of your team will feel comfortable coming to you um, if they have any worries or problems or they'll just feel comfortable like even speaking to you about the, the current project you're working on yeah um, what else would I say um, you speak very well you speak very clearly and confidently and I think that's really important because um, that brings, people will have confidence in you and in what you're saying because of the way that you speak and the way that you deliver yourself um, and that will create a good sort of team um, mood and you get on with people really well so I think you'll have like no problem working in a team so you could say that you're a team player, that's how they would describe you and I think your colleagues would definitely say that about you. Yeah, okay, so write that one down. Okay, good. You've got it right. <laughs> okay, and this is the last of my practice questions. You'll probably get more than this in the interview, obviously, but I didn't want to do too many. Um, you can be slightly over rehearsed, but it's about getting that balance, isn't it? <laughs> What motivates you in life? <laughs> no, that's not too simple. I think that's sort of probably what they're expecting, like family, friends, um, yeah, it just shows that you're a very loving person and caring and I'm sure um, many people on their team will share those values um, and I'm sure like 
they will all be friends with each other and they'll enjoy having you as a new friend outside of work um, and the fact that you enjoy other people's company is really good for teamwork yeah and of course mention your dogs again <laughs> yeah yeah definitely um, and then maybe do just touch on career as well like what you want to achieve in your career and how your career goals motivate you in life yeah exactly because I know you have so many goals like you always tell me about them yeah and I think that shows real ambition and that's what I'll be looking for yeah okay well you've got an A plus from me for those questions Okay, I'll put my little book away now. <laughs> so, um, I just wanted to also give you some of my top tips for the interview. Some of these are like quite practical tips and the things that you might not think of because you might be really concentrated on your answers to the questions. So, my first tip is try not to fidget too much because although it might help you think um, it's going to distract them and they're not going to be focusing on what you're saying and if you're doing something with your hands they might be distracted by that and then they might miss what you've said or just might not really pay attention to you as much and it also will make you come across as a bit more nervous yeah so try to avoid that if you can next tip have your phone on silent silent do not disturb. I mean, you can have it on that as well, but just on silent, like, and even turn the buzz off as well because it's so unprofessional to have a phone go off in an interview. And obviously, it's not the end of the world if that happened, like, it's fine, but it will make you on edge after that happens. You'll be nervous and you'll be like in your head about it. And I really just think it's just best to avoid that. Yeah. So my next tip is make sure you get a good night's sleep beforehand, you know, obviously you're not going to be going out or anything like before, but just make sure you get an early night and make sure you do things that are going to allow you to sleep well, so if that means having a bath before bed or having your tea a bit earlier or later or whatever helps you sleep, yeah, and leading on from that, make sure you eat breakfast. Is it? What time is your interview? Okay, yeah. So maybe have a bit of lunch before you go as well. Just because if you're hungry, like, it's just going to make you feel a bit sick and that's going to add to all the worry and the stress um, and you just don't need that. Mm. And obviously, eating will give you energy and you'll need that energy and you can put it all into your interview. And also make sure to drink lots of water, stay hydrated, it will keep your throat hydrated so that when you're speaking lots, you know, your mouth doesn't get dry, which again, that does happen with being nervous, but if you drink lots of water, that should reduce that a bit. But also don't forget then, if you've been drinking a lot of water in the morning, to make sure you've been to the toilet before your interview, because there's nothing having to hold in a wee for ages yeah and then you'll just want to the interview to be over with and obviously that's not the kind of energy that you want to bring to it yeah mm. are you looking forward to it then mm -hmm. yeah okay well that's a really good attitude just thought I might also remind you of some positive things um, before your interview because I know that you doubt yourself sometimes and I know that sometimes you don't see what an amazing person you are like what I see you know day in day out whenever I see you um, whenever I hear about what you're doing um, you are such a generous and caring person. You always think about other people. You 
always consider your friends, your family um, you're so considerate and you're so sweet even like when I was ill the other week and you sent me flowers and chocolates like not every friend does do that and I really appreciate you as a friend and I want you to know that you are loved and you are supported and whatever happens with this interview whether you get it or you don't which I mean either could happen and it's not a reflection on you if you don't get it it just means you weren't like what they were looking for now but that doesn't mean that you won't be what someone else is looking for um, and if you do get it that's amazing and I'll be so happy for you and so supportive um, so I just want you to know that either way it'll be okay and you know you've got me here for Yeah. And from what I've seen, I can see that you're really, really good at what you do. And honestly, I do think they will see that too. Yeah. You just radiate this positive energy. <laughs> yeah. And I just wanted to touch in with you to make sure the very practical things are sorted. Like, do you know where you're going? exactly where you're going and do you know how long it's going to take to get there? Okay. Well, maybe you should leave a bit of time extra in case it's hard to park. Yeah. Because it can be tricky and you really don't want to add any extra stress. <laughs> yeah. Exactly, exactly. And we must discuss your outfit. I know that is kind of a bit of a fun thing to discuss. <laughs> I love discussing clothes and I know it might not be that important in the grand scheme of the interview, but it's fun. So, what are you thinking of wearing? Mm. Okay, yeah. Well, out of the two shirts that you mentioned, I would probably go brighter one, the blue yeah, because you want to stand out, you want them to remember you, if they think oh, like say you wear just black and white like, oh, who was that person we interviewed um, what were the you know, they sort of might forget but like, ah, that person in that bright blue shirt, they were really, really good, yeah and what's Susie thinking? mhm <laughs> classic pair, very reliable yeah, definitely, I would just wear the shoes that you normally wear to be honest because you'll feel most comfortable in them because even just the walk into the interview room can be quite stressful, can't it? yeah <laughs> okay, well, honestly it sounds like you're ready for this interview yeah so don't put too much pressure on yourself, it's a great opportunity but if it doesn't happen this time then it's not the end of the world, yeah okay well, thank you so, so much for coming to me, and I can't wait to hear how it goes. Please let me know, like, well, no, you don't have to let me know straight away, but, you know, when you're at home, when you're back at home, and you've sort of calmed down after the interview, yeah, just send me a text or whatever. Yeah. And when you find out, let me know as well. Okay. So I'll see you next week, then after your interview. Okay.